On this model, we can, um, we're going to talk about also about the thoracic and abdominal blood vessels. Um, it's a little bit hard for you to see the thoracic part of the aorta because this would be the ascending part of the aorta, the aortic arch. Once it starts coming down and it passes behind the heart, that's where we um, call it the thoracic aorta. So you won't be able to see it on this model, but it's running behind the heart. Once you get down here, then you have the abdominal aorta. So all of this is the abdominal aorta. Now you have a few branches off of the abdominal aorta. Three of them are what we call the unpaired branches of the abdominal aorta, meaning that you only have one coming out and it usually comes off on the anterior part of the aorta. The first one is what we call the celiac trunk. It's called a trunk because it's, go it's big and it's going to give rise to three other branches. One will be going up to your stomach, so it's called the left gastric artery. One is going to be going to your spleen, so it's called the splenic artery. And one is going to be going to your liver, so it's called the common hepatic artery. So why is it called common hepatic? Because it will branch further and give rise to what we call the hepatic artery proper. Hepatic artery proper. So everything that's inside the liver, it's called hepatic artery proper. Before it branches, it's called the common hepatic artery. So this is the first branch off of the abdominal aorta, the first unpaired branch off of the abdominal aorta. The second one is the superior mesenteric artery, which is this one right over here. The third one is the inferior mesenteric artery. It's important for you to know that between the superior and inferior mesenteric arteries, you have a paired branch right over here that's going one to one side and one to the other side, which is the, the renal artery and you can see the renal vein here too. So renal artery, renal vein, and on this side, renal vein, renal artery. Once the um, abdominal aorta comes down to the end, it splits into these two. So you have the X or the common iliac artery on both sides and the common iliac vein the common iliac splits further into external iliac and internal iliac. Again, artery and vein, artery and vein. And then it becomes the femoral like we talked previously. Uh, up here, um, like we said, this is the aortic arch. So the first branch off of the aortic arch is the brachiocephalic trunk. The second one is the left common carotid artery, and the third is the left subclavian. If it's called left common carotid artery, it means it's going to branch further, and it gives rise to this one that runs superficially on the outside, which is the external carotid artery. So we want to be more specific. We can call this the left external carotid artery, and the internal we cannot see on this model but it goes in through the carotid canal, which you guys remember from lab one. So one last thing that we uh, need to talk about are the veins that are going to either be going to the liver or coming off of the liver. The one that goes to the liver is um, the hepatic portal vein, which is going to bring blood from the, all of your digestive system into the liver. And if it's leaving the liver, it's called the hepatic veins. And the hepatic veins will always communicate with the inferior vena cava. So if you see uh, veins going into the inferior vena cava, hepatic veins. These veins that are coming from the digestive system, even though it looks like they're coming off of the inferior vena cava here, they're just sitting on top of it. So they will bring blood from the digestive system into the liver.